Welcome to Indie Resources fifth video on how to make an HTML5 using the Impact Engine in Node. In this video I do want to go over the map editor um, quickly. It's not going to be a long video, I just want to kind of go through it and kind of show you how it works and how we can build more dynamic levels and just kind of get that out of the way because I do want to get back into coding and, and get the, um, I want to get some enemies coded in and figure out how we're going to do that as far as how we're going to make the combat and everything. So let's just get through this. The first thing we want to do of course is, is go into your code and let's get rid of this this message box otherwise it's going to be popping up on us so just delete that line out of there to where we're, 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 we're talking to the message box just go ahead and get that out of there and save so that and then refresh and that way that's gone and it doesn't print up anymore now if you load up your uh, Weltmeister just remember I, it's just impact hut or wherever you put it Weltmeister.html and if you have to you may have to go to load click and actually load your level to bring it up and if you right mouse and hold it down you can move, zoom around um, I showed you the, the kind of collisions and things like that. The next thing we want to do, let's create something. Let's put some trees in here. So I'm going to go up to this layers, this plus button, and I'm going to change this to layer 2. I'm not too interested in, in naming it too crazy. I don't want to leave it default. I just want to kind of create an easy one. I'm going to use the ground cover tile set. I'm going to make this 32 pixels and I'm going to link with collision because I'm going to the, anything that's going to be in this is going to be collision so if I apply changes you'll see our box is the full size and if we hit our space bar we can grab some tree trunks and just place them down <coughs> now I don't know how much I like the way the collisions are, are, are fall in there so we may come in and edit them a little bit um, and we can go ahead and do that now real quick let's just see how what, what it kind of looks like so let's let's just save that right there let's hit save and let's go back and refresh and you'll notice our trees are there if we walk down there yeah I don't uh, I'm, uh, I don't know I don't know how happy I am with that it just kind of doesn't really fall right so I'm going to I tell you what let's leave it like that just for now we may we may change it but um now nah, we, we need to change it let's just go ahead and go to our collision layer hit your space bar click on that little box and let's just put another one right right here and let's put one right here and I'm going to try to go without just so the head kind of forms over, kind of goes over that, but we'll see how it goes. So let's hit save again. Now we want to put the tops of our trees. We want the tops of our trees to be in front of the player, so we need to create a new layer. So go to layers, hit your plus sign, and we're just going to call this layer three. Um, the tile set's going to be the same, the ground cover. <clears throat> we're also going to do 32, and of course it isn't going to be collision layer, so we're pretty much good. We hit apply changes and we're good. Now the key to this, first let's go ahead and hit our space bar and let's put the tops of the trees in. Now if we just saved it and went through there, we would actually run over the tops of the trees and it wouldn't quite look properly. So the key to this is to take the entities and make the layer on top. These layers go in order, so whatever's on top is going to be on top, this is going to be next, and this is going to be next, and so on. So if we save this and we come back over and hit refresh, we can now walk behind the trees and we can see that the stumps are kind of blocking us which kind of works out pretty good I kind of like that we could actually take and put the stumps a little lower but then it probably wouldn't really come out right either but you can fool with it and make it however you want I'm just gonna leave mine this way it's a lot simpler so let's let's add a little more um, a little more dynamics to it let's go back to our level editor and <clears throat> You can have, I don't even know if it's unlimited amount of layers, but you can have quite a few layers. I don't know, I could understand four or five layers, but not really a whole much, a whole many more after, the, after that. I know, like, let's take um, another good layer to have would be a layer that you were actually, let me see if I've got anything in here that I can, whoops, let me go to my layer two. Um... Another good layer to have is say that you have a wall and you have a couple of these but you don't want them collision. You could have an, just a layer that will just put this in the wall. Um, let's put in some rocks down here. Let's go with, uh, we can do some bushes. Put a couple bushes through here and we may have to edit the um, the collision layer a little bit. Now if you, if you, let's say you put one underneath here, you had a big object, you can always take just temporarily and drag this collision up so it puts the collision on top and you can see it better. And if we space, I'm just going to put two down here, and I'm going to erase this one. Whoops. And now you could always put that to where it falls on the other side. We probably want to put that top on another layer. That's spending a lot of time on it. Let's see what it looks like now. Of course, you know if you're making a game and you want it to look right, you're going to spend the time on it. Um, yeah, because it looks like I'm stepping on the bush now. And it has this really funny 
So you, the best bet is probably to go ahead and just, and I'm no expert map maker, trust me. Oops, that's definitely the wrong one. And we'll throw that in there, and I'm going to go ahead and just erase these bottoms. So you just got to kind of play with it. Now, if you want a really, really nice map, you could always go through and edit and make this instead of eight. You know, make it make it four tile size to where you could just put it in there. But I'd be careful about how much you do because you know you're going to be using more and more processor power the smaller you get because there's more to to go through. Um, let's refresh that and see how that works. So that that looks a little better. Um, yeah, that's that's by far better. So I know I know it's nothing spectacular, um, but it, it gives you a simple idea on how to build the maps a lot better. And, and there is a lot more to the map building, which we're going to get into later. But I wanted to at least give a little bit of, of where to go from here. Um, let's see. I just want to make sure I kind of... Now, if you notice, it's it, it, wherever you click your space bar is where that's going to pop up. So you might have to kind of move over a little bit. But um, be careful just, you know how you place your things like this is this is another point um, if I wanted another layer if I put this here there's gonna be collisions there and you don't want collisions over something like this I could put it on layer 3 but it's above the entity so I might want to create another layer and just call it layer 2b and which I'm fixing to actually overwrite that so I don't want to do that let's go new layer and we're gonna call it layer 2b tile set at the same time and then that's the other reason for layers is the different tile sets too you're gonna want um, you can pick quite a few different tile sets for one map which is which makes it a lot easier for um, for more items but I'm just using this one but um, anyway let's apply and let's take our layer 2b and now we can actually come in here and put down some things that don't have collision layers like um, this right here it just looks like a little hole in the ground <clears throat> or if there's like flowers you want to be able to step over that aren't big, you can put those in there. So anyway, you guys get the general idea. Kind of just wanted to go over just a little bit of the map maker so you guys understand when I'm doing it and I'm coming in here real quick and adding things. You understand what I'm doing. I'm still gonna get we're still gonna go over entities and a couple other things, but um this this will just give you a quick overview of, of how to make the layers and, and how to do it. And if you see we just kinda walk over it and it doesn't really hurt anything. So next video we're going to work on enemies and getting them to where we can attack them, at least getting them randomly spawning and randomly moving around, put a little artificial intelligence in there.